So remember, I talked about chemoreceptors when we talked about blood pressure. So we're gonna to put together the same stimulus. Our stimulus is going to be either high PCO2, low pH, or low PO2. Those three things go together. So we've got a stimulus that's going to be detected by chemoreceptors. These chemoreceptors could be located in the aortic arch, carotid body, or medulla oblongata, central or peripheral. Either way, this signal is gonna be transmitted to the medulla oblongata. Where in the medulla? Well, our respiratory center, and cardio acceleratory center, and our vasomotor center. Okay, the results of targeting the respiratory center. So this is our integrator. Um, to, yeah, then we'll have targets and we'll have effects. Now I'm gonna do these in different colors just to keep things straight. First we'll do respiration. Respiratory centers are the medulla oblongata. Target are, let's just put respiratory muscles, diaphragm, and external intercostals, others if needed. That's going to result in increased ventilation. That's helping us respond to these things. Get rid of carbon dioxide, bring in more oxygen. Awesome. But I bet you already know what else, right? Cardio acceleratory. This is going to target our heart muscle. Vasomotor. This is going to target our blood vessels, the arterioles primarily. So we've got increased cardiac output via heart rate and contractility. And we've got increased resistance, increased um, vasoconstriction, total peripheral resistance. Vasoconstriction is happening. So this allows our body to respond in um, multiple ways to the same stimulus. And this is a response we would want um, to have in response to low PO2, low pH, high carbon dioxide, um, particularly here, right? Um, we need to get we need to get blood to those tissues.